Hi, second grade, it's Ms. Matos, and I am going to be reading our new shared reading article for this week. Remember that for the month of May, we are learning about important figures from Asian and Pacific Islander heritage because May is when we recognize um, important figures that come from Asia, okay, and from the Pacific Islands. Today, we're going to be learning about Josuo Kuniyoshi, okay? Josuo Kuniyoshi was a painter and photographer who became one of the most famous artists in the 1920s. Kuniyoshi was from Japan. He moved to America when he was a teenager. He thought of himself as an American artist, but also knew how much his Japanese roots affected his life and his art. His style of painting combined Japanese design with American folk art. Artists who do not have a formal art training make folk art. In Yasuo's early years as an artist, he often used darker colors in his paintings. He also played with shapes and space. Some of his paintings showed his sense of humor. He used his memories and imagination when he painted. As, he, as his style changed, he began using brighter colors. He also got inspiration from the countryside in Maine. Many of his newer paintings contained cows, lighthouses, and warm colors. Even though he lived in the U.S. for many years and was a big part of the American art world, Kuniyoshi never became a citizen. During World War II, the U.S. fought against Japan, Germany, and Italy. At this time, the U.S. government and many Americans discriminated against Japanese people living in the U.S. Until 1952, the government made it legal for people born in Japan to become U.S. citizens. But Kuniyoshi kept painting in his original style and even worked with the government to make paintings about the war. Now, many of Kuniyoshi's paintings hang in some of the most well-known museums in America. He has influenced many artists to this day. People still celebrate his unique works.